A ladder, 10 feet tall, leans against the wall. The ladder begins to slide. When the top of the ladder is eight feet high, the top of the ladder is moving down at 20 feet per second. How fast is the base of the ladder moving away from the wall? So we have a related rates problem. So what I wanna do first is go through the problem carefully, get an idea of what's going on, and then extract whatever information I can. So what's going on? I have a ladder leaning against the wall. We have the ground. So when I draw the picture, it'll look something like this, a right triangle. Now note, I wanna draw my right triangle facing the way that it is, with a point this way, because if I go the other way, you'll note if this is the origin, then whenever I use x, it's gonna be a negative number. So we want it this way, so x is always a positive number. All right, we move through the problem, see what we can extract. First, we have that the length of the ladder is 10. So note, this isn't a sliding ladder, nothing funny is going on there. We're always gonna have that length fixed at 10. So hypotenuse of my right triangle equals 10. I'm gonna wanna put in for other quantities, so we'll put in x and y as usual. Just note, the x and y are gonna be functions of t because our ladder is sliding down, so as it slides down, as time changes, X and Y are also gonna change. Next, we're gonna have eight feet high at the time we're taking our snapshot. So we could call that T0 for bookkeeping purposes. We're never actually gonna use the T0 though. So what does that mean? That means Y of T0 equals eight feet. Sliding down, at 20 feet per second. We'll note, that's just gonna mean dy dt. We're just measuring how y changes with the time. So we have dy dt at t zero equals minus 20 feet per second. Okay, it picks up a minus sign because it's moving down. If it was moving up, it would have a plus sign. How fast is the base of the ladder moving away from the wall? That's gonna be how fast is our x value changing? So that's gonna be our dx dt evaluated t zero. So we have our laundry list here. That's pretty much everything we just worked out. So the most important thing here is what we're trying to find. We're trying to find dx dt. So the idea is gonna be, I wanna relate dx dt to something else on our list. Well, if you note, we're also given dy dt so I want an equation that relates x and y, and then I can take the derivative of that equation with respect to t, and then dx dt and dy dt should pop out of that. So I have a right triangle. So the relation between x and y is gonna be x squared plus y squared equals 100. Now note the hypotenuse, no matter what the time is, is always gonna be equal to 10. So on the other side of my equation, that thing doesn't change with respect to t, it's always 100 or 10 squared. Now, I'm gonna take derivative of both sides with respect to t, so we're gonna need to use the chain rule. x and y are functions of t. Derivative of x squared is just gonna be 2x, and then I multiply by dx dt, or x prime, depending on your notation. Similarly, y squared prime is gonna be equal to 2y dy dt. Derivative of 100 with respect to t is gonna be zero. So our equation falls out as so. And now I can isolate dx dt. That's what I'm trying to solve for, so I want it by itself. Now, for the items on the right-hand side, what do we have? I have y, that's equal to eight feet. I have dy dt, that's equal to minus 20 feet per second. I'm missing x. So the idea is I can use our relation to solve for x. Okay, we have x squared plus y squared equals 100. y is equal to eight. So that's gonna give me x equal to plus or minus six. I'm gonna go with plus six because if you recall, I went to all this trouble in the beginning to choose my triangle facing the way it does so I always have x positive. If I had my triangle turned around, then I would be using the minus six. Okay, so now, I have everything that I need to get my answer. The answer is 80 over three feet per second. 
The check here is going to be, note, the base of the ladder is moving away from the wall. So as x changes, it's going to be positive, meaning it's moving away. If I'd forgotten to put the minus sign on the minus 20 feet per second, we get a negative on our dx dt. And what that would mean is the base of the ladder would start moving towards the wall. So that's your check to make sure you put your minus sign in for dy dt.